your ball position. You know, I have a pretty pretty forward ball position. I, I have the same ball position for every club in the back. I just kind of vary, vary my width of my stance. So that's how I change my ball position. But my normal ball position is about right here. So I try and keep my sternum, you know, not too far from the ball. I don't like it too far back. I don't want it ahead of the ball, definitely. Just kind of, you know, right about even with it. <clears throat> when I shift my weight, I want this sternum to stay right there. I don't want it to move side to side at all. I don't want this head to move either. So how I load, let's just call it load, right? I take my right hip and say if I had a shaft in the ground straight up, I want my right hip to turn but move away from the shaft. Okay, so I don't want a bump like this. That's kind of, that's a sway. I want a complete rotation just like that. That's how Hogan used to use his lower body. And what when I'm loaded, I don't want my right leg to straighten. See how it's still, it's still flexed. But when you're here, all you have to do to get through the ball is rotate again. There's no lateral movement. There's none of that. And when you, when you sway back, you're going to have to sway through. And it's very hard to time it. So that's all I would tell you with your, your weight transfer is just <clears throat> try and stay centered over the ball. I don't want, you know, I don't, I'm not a huge believer in the stack and tilt. Stack and tilt is this way and that way. I like just centered over the ball. If you just want to stay centered, rotate and rotate through, and that's pretty simple. I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than that. With tempo, 